All right, well, it's not a very good morning. Not the kind of video I want to make. We had a heifer that was calving last night. She still has not calved. The calf was too big, got stuck, and 100% confirmed the calf is dead inside, and she is still trying to push it out. Um, that was my bad. I should have seen that. We had a number of calves that day, but this one didn't come out. So I locked everybody over on this side. We're going to try to walk her up the alley and get this calf out. It's a shame because she's a heifer and it's a black calf. And ah, oh, it's the pain when heifers don't calf out properly. Of all the heifers we've calved, we had no problems. Mind you, I did help one, but this one's gonna be hard to get in the chute. Unfortunate. And there's no, no chance in hell this calf is alive. It's been far too long. So we're gonna have to move everybody up. Try to get this calf out. Not something I wanted to do today. I don't think anybody wants to do something like this today, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to get it out. So we got everybody moving. The new guys, the new pairs are coming along. I left them be. But we're bringing everybody up just for that one effort to get that calf out of her. You can't keep that too long. Too bad. Fuck. It really makes me mad. It's always on the weekend. Probably Friday night. Goddamn miracle. Look at that umbilical cord. It's still attached. That's why you're alive, buddy. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's a big calf. For a heifer, that's insane. Fucking miracle. Right. It's not over yet, his battle. You can hear he's hard. He's got a lot of water in his lungs. I put him in this position that makes him, allows him to have his lungs open as much as possible. On the side, he's compressing one side, so this is the best way to, to get them breathing properly. His head's all swollen. He's got a massive head. That's a fucking miracle this calf is even breathing, let alone. I can't I can't believe we got it out. This is such a big calf. And such a hef small cow heifer who has absolutely no care in the world for it right now. Hey, you just pushed out a 120 pound calf. You should probably care. So like I said, this is a freaking miracle. This mom is out of here. He wants nothing to do with it. But this calf is just nuts. Well, you found where the gate wasn't, hey? There's no gate there. They never go out that way because they have a calf here. Yeah, the chance of this calf surviving now is it's gonna be pretty low. But the fact he came out alive is a miracle. You can see all his eyes are swollen. His whole face is swollen. He's been stuck in that birthing canal for who knows how long. But that umbilical cord, holy shit. I've never seen something so thick. I had to cut it with my knife. I don't know if that's because it's been in there so long. It's starting to harden up. But that's a miracle. Wow. Now we gotta get that cow back in. Fucking Christ. All right, well, I might just start going to church. That was a goddamn miracle. 
and uh, I'm happy to catch him alive. So we're gonna give him a couple minutes to catch his breath. We're gonna I got something to do here. I got this loader's gotta come off. We gotta fix that. Uh, gotta fix this crack here. So I'm just gonna get the loader up, bring it in the shop. We got the excavator, to take the, the, the mount off. Uh, get them and weld that up, and I'll go down to the other farm, check on that calf, and then uh, I got a couple of tag calves to tag yet, and we'll start shipping them out. We got a day to do this because we need the loader again tomorrow to feed so we already did this side as you can see 13,000 hours on uh, those loader mounts this is actually the second loader we had on it that was the first one this one's a little bit more worn out so it's gone through two loaders the mounts are still you know original so we'll uh, have to uh, give a little renovation to it, fix her up a little bit. There are weak points. There are weak points on everything. As you can, I'll show you later exactly why there's, uh, why it broke there. It's basically at the end of every, um, well, basically the weak point. I'll show you later, in better detail. Bit basic engineering. So this comes off like that. I'm actually amazed this came off as easy as it did. Today's turning out to be a very good day. All right, let's see if the loader wants to fall on the ground or not. Sometimes the uh, legs don't like to hold up. It's a completely different tractor once the loader's up. So, as you can see, we got a lot of water in the yard. Goddamn rain that we got, still more coming. I made a little drain there connecting the pond to the ditch. Let's see, I'll we'll be able to drain it drain the yard a little bit. So we're gonna have to unbolt this whole mount. It's pretty heavy, so once I have, the, uh, have it in the shop, we'll use the excavator to pick it up and take it off. So Devin's gonna take a look at that uh, loader mount. We don't usually uh, work on Saturdays if we don't have to. But I figured since I brought the, all the cows in, Bring this heifer up. I'm gonna take a look at the ones I haven't been able to catch and tag. At least get their mother's numbers down. If not, tag the calf. Just so we uh, have a good understanding what we have to put out. I think we're gonna put some out Monday. Assuming the weather's cool. I, I kinda wanted to do it today, but uh, Devin wasn't up for it. Given that we had gone out last night, we came home at two o'clock, so. There's that reason. But, uh, it's nice cool weather. I like moving cows in cool weather. I don't like working with cows in the hot weather. So I think all next week is gonna be pretty cool though. So we'll be all right. Not gonna miss our opportunity. So just wanna get those pesky clean skins tagged up. Are you contributing to the pond? Another hole we gotta fill in. So. Yes, I couldn't catch you since day one, buddy. You can write your mama's number down, though. I think it's 99 something. Oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> Should have brought the wand with me. God damn it. Okay, well, let's 
skip you. What are you telling me? There's only one. No, there's two. There should be three. Okay, uh, 1344. That's the latest, greatest view I can catch. And it's a heifer. Surprise, surprise. All right, Junior's doing all right. Heads up. Lungs are clear. Still got a swollen face, but that'll go away, hey? After a while, it's gonna have a hard time sucking like that. Mama still don't really care much for it. But I'm just happy this guy is good, hey? He might be a replacement bull one day. I don't know if I wanna keep you. You're actually not that big once you Head comes down and swelling. I think he's not gonna be, he's not gonna look as big as I thought. Still probably around the 100 mark. I have to weigh him. Wow, I'm so happy. That is so nice. Flies are gonna jump on him though. Mama's gotta lick him. Damn, damn, damn heifers. Nervous as all can be, wanna be with the herd. Not come on, lick it, do something. Don't just pass by it. It's a fucking piece of grass. I'm sure you'll come around to it, and me being here does not do anything, right? Makes you, if anything, more nervous. So I'm gonna have to probably bottle feed them. I really hope not. Fresh out of colostrum too, powdered colostrum, so he's gonna have to get it from her. If he can stand up and suck and she stands still, I think that'll be another miracle, so we'll wait for that to happen. All right, so we got 10, 10 pairs to go out. I'm gonna have to do that Monday. But everyone except for one, big kahuna calf. Big kahuna calf. He's too strong. I cannot catch him. Don't need two people to tag him. But uh, we'll tag them, vaccinate the rest, and haul them out tomorrow, or Monday, I guess. As for that, on to the next thing. All right, I thought this would be off, but Devin's doing other stuff. We got some groundhogs to take care of in the soy field, so I'm gonna tackle this. I remember we tried picking this up by hand, putting it back on. I remember, I still remember trying to pick it up from the ground and like my back making weird noises, so. Won't be doing that again. Um, problem is our excavator's got a hell of a drift on the top cylinder. So if you put it anywhere, it's just gonna start drifting. So, sorta kinda not really handy, but I think if you pull it all the way out, it's got nowhere to go. So if we extend the top, this one, this is the one I'm talking about. It must be a seal that's gone on the piston or something, but the oil bypasses, uh, obviously, to negative pressure and, or, uh, yeah, no pressure at all, and it just, easily, by gravity, just drifts out, so, um, we'll have to try to figure that out somehow. I can imagine the seat is probably pretty wet. Yeah. It's all the way out, it's not drifting. That one don't drift, and that one don't drift, so we got it rigged up a little bit. We're gonna take some bolts out, put some pressure on it, tighten those chains up, and then she should come out. So we got three, four, eight bolts, basically. Get to the hard ones first, and leave the last two that are easy to get off so we can not be in a dangerous situation when we're taking the last one off. The chain was not very tight, it kind of fell off.
boss. The boss is here. What do you want? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never been in the excavator. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the stuff we can dig with this. Hey. Well, you heard there was something going on. You want to join? Hey. Nice. Oh, you want the tractor? Yeah, of course. Not construction. Hey, farming. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> what is it? What is it you want, sir? We'll get this in the shop, get it all fixed up. Huh? Nothing? I didn't break my back. Hey, I didn't break my back. Right, I got it rigged up a little better, I think. We'll see. It might slide off though. Back the tractor out, clean the shop real quick. We'll try to sneak this sucker in and put it right on the workbench. No back breaking labor required. That didn't go to plan. It slid out of the bucket and slid off the freaking workbench. Oh, it dented our cement. You know what? It's not that heavy. Now I'm just gonna cut it in pieces and then I can put it up on there and weld them all back together. All right, tractor's in. She's on the operating table. So, that's what I was trying to get at. Look at, right after the weld, cracks. Right after this weld, crack. So that is clearly the weak part of the fatigued metal. So we got half inch, half inch thick metal. And we're gonna have to grind. Grind it, grind it deep. Take out a lot of metal uh, and then do multiple passes. Very, very hot welds. And then we're gonna have to grind all the paint off of it and slap a plate onto it. Uh, obviously a very big plate. Same on the other side. So it's cracked right through. So we're gonna have to I don't know. So you have to grind a lot to get really down into there. So what it wants to do is it wants to keep tearing through it. So we have to go ahead of it and weld it. That's a good project for Devin. <laughs> he did the other side. He did a good job. We noticed uh, when we did this side, the other side was going. So we should have done it at the same time. But uh, we, uh, we decided not to for some reason. So... But three, four welds on top of there. Big triangle piece, so. You can see, see the crack. So that's, so that's the thing I'm going to do different with this one. I'm going to imagine the crack is going to continue. So I'm going to put a piece right across. But it's kind of hard because everything's overlapping. They really get in there. So this is the, uh, this would be the, inside up against the hood you can see 2013 she was made 91 kilos <laughs> that's heavy so we can see the crack here too coming down so we have to plate this too it's just that we cannot weld on the inside of it so that will forever be wanting to open up Gonna need some material. Got to look around. Some of this. That should do it. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> no, we're not using that. We need thick, thick material. Same or less. We have this. 
flat bar that would be handy dandy that's what we're gonna use i think my dad bought this to do his uh his, his mounts on his uh yanmar loader so leftovers and uh i think there's six wide oh find the tape so we got half inch and we got one inch wow that's one inch on the mount, but here's half inch, I think. No, it's three quarter. No, it's one inch. It's all one inch. And we have, what do we have here? Yeah, we got quarter inch. I think that'd be fine, actually. Six, six by a quarter. Uh, That'd be a nice, nice wide piece. Seven by six by a quarter. We'll do the same thing over here. Six, six, six by seven. Uh, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna bother it much if we're a quarter inch in on the, it might rub on the hood. I'm not too sure. Well, the other side will be a, no, we got lots of room. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Okay, and we should probably take a good inspection of this one after too, make sure it's actually fixed. I don't know if I trust this 91 kilo piece standing like that. You get your fingers underneath that one, she's falling, say goodbye. So, we're gonna go have lunch. We'll come back to this. We'll start grinding our one inch piece steel. <laughs> Holy shit. And then we'll have to clean it up too. Make sure we got no other stress cracks. Mm, we're starting everywhere. So a new piece like this, I don't wanna know what it would cost. Uh, but I think we can fix it better than, better than new. Considering it's 2013, it's old. Old metal, old steel, and it's literally gone through two loaders that mount, so it's allowed Sometimes to break. I always wonder where would the joy be of having new equipment? You don't get to do stuff like that. You don't get to go weld on one inch thick loader mounts, like you know, you miss all that stuff with new with the new equipment. You just look at it, polish it, shine it up, and it pay that monthly payment of whatever the hell it is, you know. $2,000, $3,000 a month for a new tractor. No, thank you. Hey, we'll fix stuff. Yeah, we'll fix stuff. All right, I just went to the co-op. I got some powdered colostrum. For some reason, I thought they were close today. I thought it was Sunday. I don't know. I'm all lost. I'm going to go give that calf some colostrum. See if he wants to down that. And then we're going to... Oh, hey, Cricket. What are you doing? Uh, then we're gonna see from there what he wants to do. Might just bring him home. I noticed his front knee on the right side is, I don't know if it's broken or dislocated, but from the pull, from pulling him out, it was uh, seemed to do some damage. So we might have a hard time walking on the front right. But that's typical stuff when you pull them. That sometimes happens, especially I pulled him. I pulled him a little bit quick, given the fact that I thought he was almost dead. So, poor guy. I think we're all gonna remember the weather when this guy was born. Because looks like we're gonna get rain again. And uh, there's no roof over if you over me if you haven't realized. Hey, buddy, we're gonna get wet. He just got finished getting dry. So, picking his head up, his lungs have cleared up pretty good. I think he wants to stand, but he's got a hell of flies on. <laughs> he might actually be in pain. His knee there might give him trouble. Poor guy. We'll try to get some claustrum in him. He's a tough one. All right, he's not sucking. 
Weather's turning pretty bad. I don't want to risk uh, getting any more liquids in his lungs accidentally. I could force feed him, get a little bit in his mouth and wait until he swallows it, but he's too weak to, to do anything with. I don't want to get milk in his lungs and kill him, so, you know, it doesn't take much milk to kill. Not much liquids in your lungs to get to actually kill you, especially the calf. Cow's lungs are too small for them as they, be, as they are. So they need every inch of lung they can get. So, we're gonna have to wait on this. Wait for him to come around. I don't know if it's gonna be. I don't know how it's gonna be, but. Weather sure as hell sucks. Lots of wind. No spinning clouds yet. All right, so uh, just finished feeding that calf. He's not doing the best. We're gonna see how he is in the morning. If he's alive, I'll be happy. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not. So uh, we're just getting going on this uh, project here, this cracked mount. Anyways, prepped it all, cleaned it up, found where the crack is, dug into it, the grinder, got a good bevel in it. Anyways, here's our plate. Anyways, we're using these Suckas 7018s. Got it up to 180. I wasn't sure how I was gonna be able to weld with this, but my first pass, not so bad. So we got this plate that's gonna sit on here. Got everything beveled out. We're gonna have to uh, cut the curve of here after once it's welded on, I think. But now we're just gonna do a couple passes over the crack, get it flush, because it's kind of a concave now, or there's a hole, anyways, a dip in it. So we're gonna keep going, fill her up with weld, do the same on the other side, and then plate it. This thing got real hot. My damn ground on my welder, it was smoking. I could barely touch it. I had her cranked up, I was going. Doing lots of multi-pass welds. Um, I want don't want to make excuses, but I was welding arc these 7018s. Couldn't see a fucking thing. I had just changed all my lenses. I changed the outside and that one in the inside. Stupid me forgot. One side of the inside lens had a plastic still on it. So that kind of explained why I couldn't see very well. Uh, I took it off and then I did MIG weld everything. I mean, MIG welded everything on this side and arc welded everything on the other side. And it went a lot better, obviously, because I could see what I was doing. Still hot, hot, hot. But yeah, I wish, um, I wish I would have had a nice clean sight when I was arc welding, because I am pretty not so good at it. We went through a couple, couple good ones. Problem I was having was I just had it too hot when I was when I was welding. It was really burning into it, and I was having this big lip. So then I'd have to go over it and over it again, and like mult, like stack it up. I think my setting was too high. I had it at 180, and then I brought it down like 170. But um, it it pays to be able to see what you're doing.